Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are doing great. So in my last video, I told you that I made a password manager Flutter based application available for Android. So I know I did say that the app was going to be available on July 24th, but it takes some time for the app to be approved on the Google Play Store. First time you're actually publishing it to the Play Store, but now it is available on the Play Store. So you can go ahead and download the app on the Play Store. I'll link it in the description of this video. So just to recap, a password manager is basically a place for you to conveniently store all of your different passwords for all of your different accounts all on your device. So it's very convenient. In this video, I'm actually gonna go through the whole UI in the application, walk you through my whole Flutter based application. So let's get right to it. So as soon as you download the application from the Play Store and open it on your phone, this is the screen that'll show up. So it says, welcome to key in an ultimate password safe, which is our slogan. And then it gives you some information about key in. So if you go ahead and press the continue button, you'll be prompted to set up the master password and it'll ask you for a security answer to a security question. Now, master password is the only way where you'll have access to all your accounts on the app. So make sure you remember the password. So you go ahead and set up the master password and then after that, you continue and you'll be taken to the login screen where you log in with the master password you just created. So the very first time you actually download the app and you log in using the master password, you'll be taken to the account creation page. In the account creation page, you'll be able to save all of the different accounts that you want to save according to the title, the username, the actual password you want to assign to the account, etc, etc. You have a lot of different options to choose from. And on top of that, you can also assign the account to a certain category. You have a lot of different categories to choose from. So for example, if you have a bank account, you can assign it to the bank category if you have an Instagram account you can assign it to the Instagram category if you have an Amazon account you can assign it to the online shopping category and so on and so forth so in the event that you actually forget your master password you don't have to worry because from the login screen you'll be able to recover it by pressing the forget password button so basically when you press this button you'll be directed to the recover master password screen and there as long as you enter the security answer that you used to sign up, uh, you should be able to recover the password. On top of that, if you actually want to go ahead and update your current master password, you can easily do this through the menu. So setting it up is actually pretty easy. All you have to do is enter your current master password and then confirm and enter the new password and obviously also enter a new security answer to a new security question. But keep in mind that if you go ahead and update the master password, then you won't be able to back up any previous databases. Now I want to demonstrate the restore and backup features of the app. So if I go ahead and go to the backup screen and press the backup button to back up the current database. And if I go to the all account screen and basically delete an account, then I go to the restore screen and restore the previous database then I should be able to get back the account that I just deleted. In addition to this, if you go back to the backup screen, you see this share button over here. So the share button, if you press on it, you should be able to share your current database to your Gmail or any other platform that you decide to share it in case you want to have a backup of it physically on your phone somewhere. The last thing I want to mention is the fact that the app also has a dedicated FAQ screen. So this FAQ screen is for any questions that you might have about the app. Uh, so literally like all you have to do is go to the screen and you have a multitude of different questions available. If you select from the drop down you should be able to see a clear answer to the questions. So if you're ever confused about something inside the app you can always go to the FAQ section and check it out there. So yeah, that was my Flutter based application for the Play Store and I will definitely be publishing a version of it for the iOS store very soon. So stay tuned for that. But I would really appreciate it if you guys can please go to the description of the video and download the app if you have an Android device and please give me positive feedback so I can actually work on improving the app for the future and maybe even developing other apps on top of this. Either way, that's been it for this video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Take care.